So here's my source DHCP server. Now you can see that this one is server 2008 and R2, but the procedure would be exactly the same if it was anything older, even back to server 2000. And as you can see, on this DHCP server I've got quite a lot of scopes, and I've got reservations. Now all of this stuff you could manually recreate on your new DHCP server, that would take you quite some time. What we're aiming to do is to back up these and restore these settings directly into your new DHCP server. So I'm going to open an administrative command window. And the command I want is netsh DHCP server export and then the name and location of the file I want to export to, so I'm putting it on the root of the C drive and I'm just going to call it THCP export.txt and then finish that with all and then hit return and after a few seconds it should say command completed successfully now what that's, what that's done if we have a look at the root of the C drive it's dumped all your DHCP scopes and settings into that text file. Now if you open that up it's it's not really readable for a human being, it's gobbledygook, but now at this point what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into services on my source DHCP server and I'm gonna stop and disable the DHCP server service. Now, obviously this could mean some downtime in your production environment, so you might want to wait until you're just about to authorize the new one before you do this, but. So that's my DHCP server stopped and disabled. So if the server reboots, it's not gonna restart issuing DHCP addresses. We're all disabled. Now if I jump across onto my new DHCP server is server 2022 I'm just going to open an administrative PowerShell window when it catches up and just to prove it's not all smoke and mirrors you can see that this is Windows Server 2022 now I haven't installed DHCP or anything on here, so I'm going while I'm in PowerShell I might as well install dash Windows feature DHCP and I want to include all the management tools. Now I've sped this up for the sake of the video, so you might want to pause this if you follow along. And what this will do is it will install the rule and the tools. What it won't do is authorize the DHCP server. I could do that for PowerShell, but I'm going to do that in a minute. And just so you're aware, if I look at services on my destination server, on my new server, when it comes up, you can see that once you've installed the rule, it does actually start the service for you. So you don't have to manually start the service. Now the next job is we need to get that exported file off our old server and copy it across onto our new server. So I'm just going to open a, a UNC path to the old box, to the root of the C drive, on the, to the old DCP server and there's my exported file. And I'm going to copy that and paste it onto the root of the C drive here, just to annoy all the security conscious people. Oh, putting stuff on the root of my C drive, but there you go. Uh, the command to import is very similar. It's an sh DHCP server. Surprise, surprise. Import. Then the path to the file that contains my DHCP settings, which if you remember is DHCP export.txt. And once again, all 
because I want to pull all the settings from that. And you can see there the command is completed successfully. So I'm finished with my command window, so I'll just exit out of there. Now if we open administrative tools uh, and open the DHCP management console. Just gonna drag this across to give us a little bit more real estate. Why does it inch and a half of the left hand column I don't know? As you can see, all our scopes are in. The scopes are down, you can see the minutes, but that's because, remember, I haven't authorised the DCP server. So, if I go up to the server level, click Authorise, just give it a couple of seconds, and then what I suggest you do is to restart the DCP server service. So, you can do that from services, or you can just right click the server, all tasks, and restart. If we just had a little bit of patience when it comes back up again you can see that both IPv4 and IPv6 have gone green we don't have any IPv6 but this this would do the same and if we did and you can see there's all our scopes and our reservations and that's us done migrated thanks very much for watching and don't forget to come and visit us at www.peatnetlife.com